Thank you very much. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome back. I hope you all had a nice weekend staying cool. Let's find a comfortable seat on the mat. I am sitting cross-legged on a block, but feel free to find what is going to work for you. If you want to sit on your heels, if you want to use a block or not, please feel free to modify any part of your practice today as it makes sense for you challenge yourself where you can back off as you need remember to stay connected to the breath letting your hands rest on your legs either turning the palms face down for a little bit more grounding or maybe turn the palms face up for a more open opening gesture of receiving or even you can consider this a cooling option right sitting tall let the eyes close Just let yourself settle into your space. Just feel your sit bone settle onto the mat. As you continue lengthening up through the crown of the head, giving yourself space so the breath can move free and clear each time you inhale, each time you exhale. Try keeping the breath moving in and out through the nose as best you can. Taking a moment or two just to briefly scan through the body starting with the crown of the head, then softening the space between the eyebrows. So we're just letting go around the eyes. Feel the cheeks soften a little bit, unclenching the jaw. Feel the shoulders move back a little bit away from the ears. So your shoulder blades soften down the back. Keep the chest lifted. Sending the breath through the lungs, filling the belly, getting into the diaphragm. <clears throat> and continuing to scan through the hips, the legs, the knees, ankles and toes. Think of the breath moving through the body, moving up and down, and maybe even in a circular way, so that it goes from the crown of the head through one arm down one side of the body, then up through the other, back up through the crown of the head. As you continue lengthening the breath, let the breath help quiet the mind. Let's take another three more breaths. Slowly opening up the eyes again, coming off of your seat, so removing any props if you have them there. Just keep them close, move them to the side, come onto your hands and knees. Letting the right leg reach back behind you on the mat with the toes tucking into the mat. Your right heel should gently press back enough so that you can feel the back of the right leg wake up a little bit the back of your right kneecap reaching up toward the sky, just enough so that you feel the right leg engage without forcing a stretch here. 
spin your right heel flat to the mat coming into a modified side plank sweep the right arm back then around overhead let your right fingertips reach to the front of the room pointing in the same direction as the front edge, edge of your mat feel the tailbone lengthen down a little bit down the right leg let's give it one more deep breath Returning your right hand to the mat, bring the right knee down, go the other way with the left leg reaching back, tucking the toes in the mat, giving yourself this nice little gentle wake up stretch through the left leg. Spin your left heel toward the mat, reach the left arm back, sweep it around, coming into your modified Vashistasana side plank. Feel the tailbone lengthen down the left leg a little bit. Lowering the left hand, left knee down. From hands and knees, spread the fingers wide. Setting up our alignment for down dog, turn the inner elbow creases forward, start tucking the toes. Lift the hips up and back, downward facing. Feel free in your first down dog to walk out the feet if that feels good. Right, so if this is your first down dog or if you haven't had the chance to move around a lot yet, use this as a brief opportunity to give the legs a little stretch. Right, pedal out the heels, walk it off a little bit. a soft bend in the knees start walking your hands back to your feet so you're folding over the legs at the back of the mat let your hands reach to opposite elbows keep the head hanging heavy and if it feels good maybe nod the head a little bit maybe shake the head yes no sway a little side to side just letting stuff roll right off switch the grip so the opposite hand will rest on top Let the arms soften down toward the mat. Begin rolling up slowly to stand. Press down on curl as you come all the way up. Tadasana, soften the shoulders back. Bring your palms together at the heart. Shift your weight to the right leg. Turn the left toes out, setting up rikshasana tree pose. Maybe as we start out, maybe your left foot stays on the mat for a little more stability. Here, I'll face you and do this. Maybe your foot stays down for a little bit more stability or step the foot inside the right leg. If it feels good to do so, if you have the space, maybe bring the foot inside the right thigh. And when you're ready, press down, inhale the arms up, separate the hands. Just gazing at one point past the end of the nose. Let's give it one more full breath. Returning palms together at the heart. Lower the left leg, switch sides, turn the right toes out. And either keeping your foot down on the mat or step the foot inside the leg or above the knee. Tailbone down, chest up, gaze softly past the end of the nose. And when you're ready, press down, inhale the arms up, separate the hands. Nice deep breaths. One more full breath. Bring the palms together again at the heart. Lower the top leg. Keep the palms at the heart center, staying at the back of the mat, feet hip width distance apart. Inhale, sweep the arms around and up, Urdhva Hastasana, look up at your thumbs. Exhaling, dive over the legs, Uttanasana. Walk the hands out, returning to downward facing dog. Little bend in the knees, start looking forward through the hands. Walk or hop the feet to the front of the mat, folding over the legs. Interlace the fingers behind the back, 
Let the arms reach toward the sky, keep the head dropping down and either let the knees soften or you can bend up the knees as much as they like. So as long as the legs aren't perfectly straight here, right, we want to release the lower back. Letting the arms drop down toward the mat, once again roll up slowly to stand. Press down as you uncurl. Tadasana, soften the shoulders back, sweep the arms overhead, grab the right wrist with the left hand, stretch up and over to the left. Inhaling, return to center, grab the left wrist, stretch up and over to the right. Bringing it back to center, dive over the legs. Stepping the left leg back in a low lunge, lower the back knee, sweep the arms overhead, low crescent Anjaneyasana. Making sure the right heel stays on the mat, lower your hands to the mat, start straightening the front leg, opening up a little bit through the hamstring. Rebend the right knee, down dog, step the right foot back. On your next inhale, come forward to plank and let the hips sink into the stretch, coming into an upward facing dog. So the toes are tucked. You can untuck them if you need for the lower back. Otherwise, just keep it right there. Shoulders back, gaze past the end of the nose. Let's bring it back to down dog. Holding here for another breath, inhale. Holding as you exhale. On the inhale, pick up the right leg. Exhale, low lunge, step your foot through the hands. Step all the way to the front of the mat, fold over the legs. Rounding down, one more time, roll up slowly to stand. Press down as you uncurl, shoulders back, Tadasana. Inhale, the arms around and up. Grab the right wrist, stretch up and over to the left. Come back to center, grab the left wrist, stretch up and over as you lift out of the waist, stretch to the right. Bring it back to center, dive over the legs. Send the right leg back in low lunge, lower the back knee. Keep the left heel down, arms high, low crescent Anjaneyasana. Lower your hands to the mat, half split, grab blocks if you need them here. Curl the left toes back, one breath. Rebending up at the left knee, down dog, step the left foot back. On the inhale, roll forward to plank. Keep the toes tucked, let the hips sink in nice and easy, shoulders back, gaze past the nose. Bring it back again to down dog. Let's hold for another deep breath in. Deep breath out. Big inhale, lift up the left leg. Exhaling, low lunge, foot through the hands. Step all the way forward, front of the mat, fold over the legs. This time as you inhale, sweep the arms around and up. Lift out of the waist as you reach overhead, look up. Exhale, dive over the legs. Chest up on the inhale, look forward, maybe palms to shins. Exhaling, step to your plank. We'll meet in down dog, so if you want to take chaturanga on your way, you can, or if you want to skip it, you can just step it right back. Right, so this time of year, especially when it's so hot outside, right, it's not a bad idea to not work as intensely in our yoga practice, right? Things like planks, like holding planks and chaturangas, including those a lot, generate a lot of heat, right? So on a day like today, when it's, you know, gonna be about 100 degrees here in New York, right, we can, kind of gloss over it and just pause as we move through without holding. So we still get the stretch without stoking the fires to the point where we run the risk of overheating and burning out. Let's put a little bend in the knees, look forward through the hands, walk or hop the feet up to the front of the mat. Chest up on the inhale, lengthen. Exhaling round, down and fold. Keep your feet about hip width distance apart. We're modifying our chair pose today. Put a bend in the knees. So your fingertips reach toward the mat. As you bend the knees, the tailbone lengthens back. The chest lifts up. Let the arms reach up. So the arms are pretty close to your ears at this point rather than going fingertips all the way up toward the sky. Take one more inhale. 
Keep the toes resting on the mat as you exhale. Dive over the legs. Step your left leg back in a low lunge. You're welcome to drop the back knee again or keep it lifted. Take a twist, pick up the right arm. If you want to use a block under the left hand, you can do that as well. Make sure your right foot points forward, the right knee bending deep, the left heel pressing back. Look up if you can. Take one more inhale. On the exhale, lower the right hand. Keep all 10 toes pointing forward. So your left heel still very much off the mat. And if you want to grab blocks, feel free to do so. Straightening out the right leg, coming into a modified pyramid pose, right? Parsvottanasana. Rounding down, draw the right hip back a tiny bit. On the inhale, low lunge, bend the right knee, lengthen the spine, look forward. Exhale, straighten and round, head down. Two more like that. Inhaling, bending the front knee. Exhaling, straighten, soften the head down. Good, inhaling. Exhaling. Let's re-bend the front knee, low lunge. You can let go of the blocks if you're, if you're using them. Spin the back heel flat as you come into warrior two. Windmill the arms around and out. Reverse the warrior, sweep the right arm high. Straightening out the front leg, coming into triangle, trikonasana, turn the arms. Lower the right hand, lift the left. You can either let your hand reach all the way toward the mat if you want. I have my fingertips on the shin, so I'm mod modifying what I'm doing in my triangle. Or grab a block under the right hand, right? Keep the chest lifted. Let your torso open up toward the sky. One more deep breath. Return to low lunge, bend the right knee, lower the hands, turn on the back toes, downward facing dog, step the right leg back. Inhale, come forward to plank. Exhale, sink the hips, open the heart for your up dog, shoulders back, and bringing it back again to your downward facing dog. Put a little bend in the knees, look forward through the hands, walk or hop the feet up to the front of the mat. Keeping the feet hip width distance apart, put a bend in the knees, modified chair, ukatasana, fingertips reach toward the mat, lift the arms, biceps close to the ears, lengthen the spine as the sit bones reach back, fingertips reach forward, one more inhale. Exhale, dive over the legs, send the right leg back in a low lunge. You can drop the back knee or keep it lifted, take your twist, left arm up. Yeah, maybe a block under the right hand if you choose. Make sure your left foot is pointing straight forward through the front edge of the mat. Look up if you can. One more breath. Lower the top arm. Blocks if you choose under your hands if you need to. Start to straighten the left leg as you round. And if you're not using blocks, if you don't have them, and the front leg doesn't want to straighten, keep a soft bend in the knee, that's okay, right? On an inhale, bend the left knee, lengthen the spine, look forward. Exhaling, straighten and round. Two more times, move with the breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling, re-bend the front knee. Back heel spins down for warrior two. Windmill the arms around and out. Reverse the warrior, left arm up. Straightening out the left leg. Trikonasana, the triangle, turn the arms. Lower the left hand, lift the right. So the legs press down, the chest lifts up. Both arms reaching in opposite directions. Let the toes rest nice and easy. Keep the breath flowing. One more deep breath. Return to low lunge, bend the left knee, lower the hands, down dog. Step the left foot back. Big inhale, take it forward to plank. Exhale the hips down, chest up, upward facing. Bringing it back to your downward facing. 
Let's grab a little child's pose, knees down. Separate the knees, toes together, hips to heels. You can reach arms forward or let the arms reach back behind you on the mat. Let's give it another deep breath. Let's bring it back onto hands and knees. Downward facing dog, hips up and back. Little bend in the knees, look forward through the hands, walk or hop the feet up to the front. Chest up on the inhale. Exhale, round it down. Inhale, sweep the arms around and up overhead. Exhale, dive over the legs. Lift the chest on the inhale. Exhale, send the left leg back, low lunge. Turn the back heel at a 45 degree angle. Pars Votanasana, working into the full variation, straightening the front leg, rounding down blocks if you need them. Yeah, try to bring the right hip back a tiny bit. One more deep breath. Good, start to lift up the chest, put a bend in the front knee, widen the angle of your back foot warrior two, sweep the arm around and out, reverse the warrior right arm high. Half moon, Ardha Chandrasana, reach the right hand in front of the right foot, maybe hand to a block if you need, left leg up off the mat. Point the left toes away from you, left arm high. Keep the standing leg nice and strong. When you're ready, that's when you shift your gaze to the left. Maybe try peeking up at your left fingertips. Good. Step the left foot back, warrior two. Come up, arms out. Straightening out the front leg. Turn the right toes in. Checking in with your feet. Make sure they're just about parallel to each other. Dive over the legs. Prasarita Pada Tanasana. And if you want to go for it, maybe open up the shoulders a bit. Arms back. Interlace all ten fingers. Arms toward the sky. As the crown of the head lengthens toward the mat. If the knees need to bend here, let them bend. Try to avoid letting the toes grip too hard on the mat. Let's give it one more full breath. And soften the arms down toward the mat, lift up the chest. Let's come into a low side lunge at the back of the mat. Skandasana, you're bending at the left knee. Keep the heel on the mat, straighten the right leg. Yeah, maybe keep the hands down if you need the balance. If you want to go for it, you can work into it a little, a little deeper. Bring the palms together at the heart. Just make sure that your left heel stays on the mat. We don't want to overload the knee, right? Let's come into low lunge at the front of the mat. Walk the hands around, pivot the toes. Let's come into a nice pigeon pose. With both hands down, lift up the right foot, keep the knee bending, slide the knee behind the wrist. Hips level, chest up. Feel free to use any props under the right hip or thigh. If you're good here, then you can work into a deeper walk the hands out. And if you need to, right, if this is not good, turn around, lay down on your back, do the reverse figure four with the right ankle above the left knee. Nice deep breaths. Let's give it one more full breath. And start to slide the hands back in, lift the head, the chest up. Down dog, right foot steps back. Good, shake it off, stretch it out. If you wanna flow forward into your Plank and up dog, feel free. Meeting back and down dog. Putting a little bend in the knees, start looking forward through the hands. Let's walk or float the feet up to the front of the mat. Good, roll up slowly to stand, take your time. Press down on curl, shoulders back, Tadasana. Inhale the arms, sweep them around and up overhead. Exhaling, dive over the legs. Lifting up the chest, big inhale. 
Exhale the right leg back, low lunge. Turn the back heel, 45 degree angle. Pars Votanasana, maybe grab the blocks here if you like. Round over the left knee. Make sure the right heel stays firmly anchored down. So if you need to readjust the feet, feel free to do so. Soften the front knee. Draw the left hip back. Let's give it one more deep breath. Start re-bending up at your left knee. Bring the right heel down, or rather keep the right heel down, widen the angle of the back foot for warrior two. Windmill the arms around and out. Reverse warrior left arm high. Half moon, Ardha Chandrasana, left hand in front of the left foot. Block under the hand if you need. Right leg up and away. Use the breath. Press down to come up away from the mat. Right arm high. When you're stable, that's when you start shifting your gaze to the right. Maybe try looking up at your right fingertips. Let the breath move. Step it back slow for warrior two. Right foot on the mat, arms out. Straightening out the left leg. Turn the left toes in. Another wide-legged forward fold. Prasarita, dive over the legs. You can either keep your hands on the mat if you want to grab onto your big toes, or maybe take hands to your lower legs if you want to fold in this way, or any other hand arm variation that suits you today. Nice deep breaths. Let's give it one more breath. Turn your hands toward the center of the mat, lift the chest, skandhasana back of the mat, that's the low side lunge, bend the right knee, keep the heel on the mat. So maybe the hands stay down for a little bit of stability. If you have space to work into it deeper, you're welcome to do so. Bring the palms together at the heart. Come into a low lunge at the front of the mat with the hands down, walking the hands around. Turn on the back toes. Pigeon pose, palms flat, lift the left leg, keep the knee bending, slide it behind the wrist. Right leg back, sit tall, level the hips, prop yourself if you need to do so. And maintaining length, walk the hands out, forehead down. Of course, modifying as you need if you need on your back. Let's give it another deep breath. And then walking the hands in, lift the head, the chest up. Down dog, one last time. Step the left leg back, shake it off, stretch it out. And this time, let's actually come forward to plank. Lower all the way down onto the belly. Untuck the toes, reach the arms back, palms flat, or rather palms, well, flat, face down on the mat, chin center. Let's do a little Shalavasana locust pose. Keep the feet, the legs glued together. Press down, inhale, lift up and away from the mat. Draw the shoulders back, look past the end of the nose. You can either look straight ahead or look toward the floor in front of the mat. Let's give it one more deep breath. Good. Lower all the way to the mat, turn your head to the side. Hold for a deep breath in. Hold for a deep breath out. Bring your chin to center, let's do one more back bend. You can, yogi's choice, either do a second locust pose, or if you wanna go for it, Dhanurasana bow pose, by bending up at the knees, grab your hands to your feet, close to the ankles, bring the knees in a little bit. Then lift up from here, wherever you are, inhale. Letting the breath move, exhale. One more breath. Releasing out of your back bend, come up onto hands and knees. 
then sit your hips off to the side, bring your legs around. Extend the legs straight forward, setting up Paschimottanasana, seated forward fold. Maybe even shimmy the hips forward so your sit bones really make a nice connection with the mat. Sit tall, chest up, inhale, lift the arms. And exhale, come forward, grab your feet. Use a strap or belt or anything if you need to get a better grip. Soften the shoulders back. If you need to soften the knees, do that. On your next inhale, start lifting the chest. Exhaling, releasing out the feet. Let's bend at the knees, bring the soles of the feet together, drop the knees out. I'm coming into Baddha Konasana, but instead of bringing the heels all the way super close in, let's extend them out a little bit so we're giving ourselves not so intense of a stretch, right? Again, we're trying to go for like the cooling, the cooling but still deep stretch option. Slide the hands under the legs, palms facing up, wrap the hands around the tops of the feet. So the knees just drop out, let the head hang down. Keep the breath moving. Let's give it one more deep breath. Slowly releasing, slide the hands back in as you uncurl all the way up. Good, fold the knees back together and with the hands behind you, just gently windshield wiper the knees from side to side. Then bringing your knees back to center, roll onto your mat. Roll back, bring the knees in, maybe take a block with you as you get there. Good. If it feels good when you hug the knees in, you can rock a little side to side, maybe grab a happy baby pose if that's agreeable on the hips or the back. Then hugging your right knee in toward the chest, extend your left leg out on the mat. Let's grab a nice twist here. Bring your right knee over to the left side. Let your right arm drop out, keeping both shoulders on the mat as best you can. Turn your head to the right and hold. Coming back to center, let go of the right leg. Switch sides, hug the left knee in, right leg straighten out. Let's take your twist, go the other way to the right, drop the left arm out. Uh, returning back to center, knees in. Good, let your feet return to the mat. Yogi's choice as we continue winding things down. I always like to offer um, an inversion practice, whatever, whatever your choice is, shoulder stand, headstand. Again, because it is right, so hot outside right now, if you wanna go for a more restorative, a more cooling option while still getting the benefits of going upside down, you're always welcome to take your mat to the wall and bring your legs up the wall, right? If you have a block or a blanket rolled up or a, a bolster, you can slide that under your lower back, under the sacrum, finding a comfortable spot, right? That's just, you know, you might have to play around with it a minute or two. Then just lift the legs up. So not entirely restorative, but still a more cooling option. Let the arms drop out by your sides with the palms face up. This is a modified shoulder stand, so your feet still higher than your heart. You're still you know, doing good things for your circulation, right? Digestion. This actually helps improve your sleep as well. Keeping your feet and your knees glued together. It's okay if the knees bend. If they need to bend, just try keeping your heels over the hips. If you want to close the eyes while you're here, you can do that too. Let's take another three to five deep breaths. One more. 
more deep breath here. When you're ready, just re releasing your feet to the mat. Lift the hips, scooch the prop out from under you. And either stay on your back right where you are with the legs straight, chest up, head back in fish pose, matsyasana, right? Top of the head on the mat, shoulders back. If you want to use your prop and do the restorative option, I'm a big fan of that personally. I'm going to take the block, if you have a blanket or whatever, it's going to go right between the shoulder blades. Slowly roll back. The chest is lifted, your head drops back. Your arms relax out by your sides with the palms up. Let's take another two or three deep breaths right here. And when you're ready, you're releasing out. If you're just on your back, you're gonna Return onto the back, hug the knees in. If you're on a prop, roll to your side. Return onto the back, bring the knees in. If there's any final little stretch or little twist or anything you'd like to take before settling into Shavasana this morning, feel free to do whatever stretch or shape that's going to be. Letting your legs extend out on the mat. Separate the feet a little bit so the toes naturally drop out toward the sides. Let the arms drop out a little bit. Turn the palms face up, closing the eyes. Once again, just taking a moment or two, scanning through the body. Let the breath soften. Feel the shoulders release back on the mat. Releasing the hips, knees, ankles and toes. Begin lengthening the breath. And gradually returning awareness to the body. Maybe roll the wrist a little bit. Maybe let the feet just drop a little to the left and to the right. Reaching the arms overhead. Enjoy a nice waking stretch. Pull the knees in toward the chest one more time. Slowly rolling over to the right. Keeping the eyes closed a little while longer. Come back up, finding a comfortable seated position on the mat. Bringing palms together at the heart. Relaxing your chin to your chest. 
just letting the breath move and taking a moment observing how the breath feels, maybe observing any changes in the way it feels from when you first started almost 45 minutes ago. And always taking an opportunity here to honor your efforts and honor your practice today. Namaste.